The Wicker Man, 1973, and directed by Robin Hardy. This was issued as a 4K disc last year, 2023, and I had many requests to review it when it first came out. However, I couldn't really justify the fairly hefty price tag for the special box set, so I decided to wait a while and have recently just purchased this in HMV's two for £30 deal. The Wicker Man has a long history on the home movie market and probably starting with Walton Films' Super 8 4x400 foot slightly abridged feature release. This is a Walton Films catalogue and they were prolific releases of home movies up to the 1980s. I never saw their slightly abridged feature release and in fact I never saw any of their extracts from it either and so I've managed to avoid The Wicker Man until this 4K release. And quite a release it is, with three versions of the film on two 4K discs, plus all the extras and then duplicate Blu-ray discs, meaning there are four discs in this pack. Image aspect ratio is approximately 185 to 1, sound is mono, and there are three different running times, 88 minutes, 94 minutes, and 101 minutes. I watched the original theatrical 88 minute version, but dipped into the others. There is that sort of stupid notice prior to the film starting, which goes on about historical attitudes. Just try to ignore that. Then there is a second notice that's somewhat more interesting before the actual start of the film. And this states one section of the negative was too badly damaged. So that has been made up from the interpositive. I saw one section of the final cut with a marked downturn in image quality and that must have been one of the video sections as mentioned in that notice. I didn't really think the imagery was very impressive to start with, a little too television movie like for me and given the Blu-ray discs are good I think the Blu-ray option would be my recommendation. The mono sound is good but it's of its time so don't expect too much there. It's certainly an odd film, but I don't think I would ever have regarded this as a horror. To me, it's a mystery with a bit of thriller thrown in. And then all the nudity started and I found that a little silly. In fact, there's actually elements of a musical in here too. So just what is this? I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it, but that's what's resulted in the Wicker Man's cult status. And if you haven't seen it, I think you just need to be prepared for all this. If you have seen it and love it like so many do, then there are a wealth of extras to entice you and possibly keep you occupied for a few hours longer. It's not my kind of film, but that doesn't mean to say I think it's a bad film. It just means that I don't particularly like it. Now, having said that, now I know what makes up The Wicker Man. When I eventually watch it again, I might see a completely different film and love it like so many of you out there have told me you do. Be aware that it's been certificated a 15 here in the UK, but if you're offended by gratuitous naked ladies and one orgy scene, although it's rather tame, then this might not be quite your cup of tea. Christopher Lee, Edward Woodward, Britt Eklund, Ingrid Pitt, quite a cast. It's not a film everyone's going to like, but what a release. Four discs does make this somewhat special, and I expect there are other retailers out there doing similar deals to HMV. So in that regard, if you fancy it or you're into The Wicker Man, then I'd say this is a good purchase. It's not the best image quality you're ever going to see on a 4K disc. I think it's rather a poor 35mm. It does have a sort of television look to my eyes. And the mono sound is good. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's of its time and it doesn't really set the world alight. Now, we had a BFCC light at the weekend. I didn't really have time to get many shots, but Mark Norton gave us some wonderful Super 8 shows. It was just a shame we were stuck off in a side room with some dealers. It was a bit of a compromise venue, and those compromises have to be made when you arrive, and you just gotta decide, no, this is gonna to have to go here, this is gonna to have to go here. You make the best of it. We couldn't fill the screen, but Mark gave us some great Super 8 shows. I had the 35mm portable that you see at the start of all the movie collector videos there. It needs some work still, but it was a good test for it. We know it needs a brighter light output, 
but it was nice to have it running because that was Keith Walton's machine and he used that at the BFCC when we were in the Ealing Town Hall in the downstairs Queen's Hall a couple of times. So even though Keith couldn't be there this time, he was there in spirit with his old 35mm projector that I've had now for about 25 years. Anyway, I think that brings us to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and perhaps consider subscribing so I'll be encouraged to carry on creating similar content to this in the future. Until the next video, bye-bye for now.